So Bumble Lab just released the H2S and of course everyone's talking about it. But if you're new to 3D printing or even just thinking about getting started, choosing the right printer can feel pretty confusing. With all the hype around the latest model, it's easy to overlook solid options like the P1S. Before you blow your budget or keep holding off, saving every last penny, let me break it down for you. I've got 5 solid reasons why the P1S is still the smarter pick for most beginners and I'll also point out the situations where the H2S actually makes sense. I want to be 100% clear. The H2S is an amazing machine with the latest technology to deliver the best prints possible but with a price tag of just around $2,000 after taxes and shipping, for some it can be a significant investment or a barrier to entry for those who don't have much to start with. Most beginners delay getting started thinking the latest, most expensive model will give them the best results. I did the very same thing and a few years back, I wanted the X1 Carbon with AMS but at over $2,000, it just wasn't realistic because I just couldn't afford it. After waiting for a year and still couldn't save the money for the X1 Carbon, I discovered the P1S. It's enclosed, reliable, and with a hot-end upgrade, it could print the same materials at half the cost. Today, the P1S costs just under $1,000, handles about 90% of what the H2S does at half the cost. And for beginners, honestly, that's all you really need. So point number two, do you really need bigger prints? Unless you're into cosplay or large one piece items, you probably won't max out the H2S build volume. Most beginners are printing accessories, organizers, hobby models, and functional parts, which are well within the P1S range. If you're looking at this from a business perspective, Designers usually prefer prints that are big enough to be useful but take around 4 hours to complete. Faster turnaround is key compared to huge prints that can take 10 plus hours and eat up tons of filament. The third point is avoiding the gear acquisition trap. Now, one of the biggest traps in 3D printing and other industries is buying the latest, most expensive gear, thinking it will miraculously make you better. What actually makes you better at your craft is printing, experimenting, failing, and learning from your mistakes. The H2S has fancy upgrades like AI monitoring, vibration compensation, larger print volume, and many other cool features, but most beginners barely need those features. In my honest opinion, skip the financial stress. Start by mastering your craft on the P1S and then upgrade to the H2S once you have obtained more funds to invest or have multiple projects that justify getting one. So the fourth point is print quality, which is almost identical. For everyday prints, you won't see much difference between the H2S and the P1S quality. The P1S delivers clean, sharp, and consistent results. Every one of my printers has over 5,000 hours and still runs like new, producing the same quality as the day it came out of the box. And here's a kicker. 3D print farms rely on fleets of P1S machines because they just work. So my fifth and final point is a printer that grows with you, which is exactly what a P1S is. This isn't just an entry level printer. It's the foundation. You can add AMS, hot end swaps, change build plates, and print more advanced materials. It grows with your skills and stays relevant for many years. Upgrade only when it makes sense. Your first P1S will keep pace with your hobby or business without going to waste. So honestly, do beginners really need the H2S? Probably not. For most people, the P1S is still king, affordable, reliable, and capable of 90% of projects you'll print. That said, if you're printing cosplay, armor, huge models, or want advanced features from day one, then the H2S may be worth it. But for the beginners, P1S potentially is the smarter move. Drop a comment, would you go for P1S or H2S? And don't forget to subscribe for more 3D printing tips, real talk, and honest reviews. And thanks for watching and 
I guess I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Take care.